This is not meant to say that you should never, ever, never purchase a home with one or more of these issues. It's more meant to let you know what might be a deal breaker and what might not, but also what to make sure you understand that there could be significant out-of-pocket expenses. If you still want the home, as with all of these issues, make sure the price reflects the cost of all the needed repairs or ask the seller to repair or replace them in an inspection response. Again, it all depends on your financial position and whether or not you want to take on major repairs. If you're a first time home buyer, walking away is probably the road to take. If you're a contractor, maybe you'd like the challenge to get the repairs done right and willing to put in some sweat equity. But if you're like most of us, major repairs are just not an option on top of the financial commitment of buying and you just can't afford the out-of-pocket expense for major repairs. Note that buying still is a much better financial choice than renting, but I digress yet again. 